Do not do anything you're about to see at home. We are professionals in a real ring. Okay, this is the spear. Uh, it's just basically a, a running tackle. Uh, the, main, the main point that you have to watch for is the guy taking the move, uh, the defender in the move, is going to take a back bump right at the contact of the tackle. Um, so, you know, meaning kicking out your legs, landing flat on your back. To show you the point of contact, this is the most important part of it. Uh, so if I'm the attacker, and I'm going to spear Ryan, uh, the main thing that he has to do is, at the moment that I make contact with him, and we're meeting left side to left side, he wants to get his left arm up and out of the way. Because if I hit him with the spear, and his arm is... is is tucked in and, and, and in the way it's going to go all wrong. So he doesn't want to put it up too early like he's anticipating it, but he wants to get it up right at the right at the right moment. So as I come in, he gets the arm up and we'll turn right here. And uh, this is ba this is basically uh, uh, the point of contact where I want to hit him. The wrong way of doing it would be going too low like this. where the, uh, the guy taking the move would actually fall forward because you're hitting him too low. And then the right way is coming in and getting your arm, shoulder, uh, into the midsection of his body a little bit higher up, and that way he could just take the back bump. About a year or two ago, Batista and Edge were in a match against each other and they weren't coordinated, they weren't lined up uh, as to which size they were going to uh, hit the spear. They both went for the spear and they hit their heads together. So uh, always make sure that you and your opponent are coordinated and, and, and going to go left side to left side.